YouTube, what's going on? It's Uncle Tone 99 it's Tony. How are you guys doing? Today we're going to be taking a look at the Casemate DIY case. The do-it-yourself case from Casemate. This is available for a number of different devices including the iPhone 3G and 3GS as well as the Blackberry Bold, the Blackberry Curve, and the iPod Touch 2G and 3G. Um, I believe when the Barely There case comes out for the iPhone 4, they are going to update this for the iPhone 4 and make it available for that as well. I'm not 100% certain on that, but I believe they probably will. So here we are at the main page for the Casemate DIY case. And uh, there are two ways you can order this case. I'm going to show you, take you through the ordering process first, and then we will go ahead and I'll show you the one I got. All right? Casemate was nice enough to send me one of these out for review. Thank you very much to Casemate for that. And let's take a look at this one, all right? So you can either A, upload your own image, which is what I did, or you can go over here and select from the gallery. Um, when you go to the gallery, you'll be presented with this. And they do have a Livestrong collection, which is super awesome. Livestrong barely there. Keep living strong as well as other collections that you can select from. They have quite a few. Um, there's a lot of available options here for you. I went with the upload your own image one. You guys will see why in a minute. Um, but they do have a lot of super cool designs to choose from. I like this snake one. This snake one is quite cool. And uh, so there you go. We'll go back to the upload your own image. And we'll show you what I did. Here we go. So you can upload your own image as well from pictures. Um, I did have this picture ready. I'm not sure where exactly it went, but uh, where did it go? Cool beans, I'm back, but sorry about that, guys. Here it is right here. Here's the image I selected. I have 800, over 800 pictures on my computer. So, you know, it took a little bit. And then here they're going to prompt you for whichever device you may happen to have. We're going to go with iPhone 3G and 3GS. However, they do also have the BlackBerry Bold 9700, the iPod Touch 2G, as well as 3G, and the BlackBerry Curve 8520. So, we'll select the iPod, the iPhone 3GS. And there you go. Here's your picture. Um, you can also stretch this, make this larger or smaller, adjust the scale to fit exactly what you want on there. This is the picture I went with, with Fiora, because she's a cutie patootie. And you can also rotate it if you would rather have the image over around like this or around like that or kind of like that a little bit or however you want to do it. You can also rotate it a full 180 degrees or a full 90 degrees or a full 180 degrees. You can put her upside down if you wanted. Pretty cool. 360 degrees all the way around. I just, I just quoted about 17 different degrees there. But yeah, full 360 all the way around. And then as well, you can adjust the scale. Now, they do recommend that you use a high resolution image of at least 2,000 by 2,000 pixels. So, you know, for best results. And it should also cover this little checkered box area around here. There's a little checked box there. It should protrude past the edges of that. So, that's pretty much what I went with, guys. And I went ahead, picked that one. Um, this is $34.95, as you can see from the price there. So we'll switch over to the close-up camera, and I'll show you what it looks like when it came. All right? Cool beans. Okay, cool beans, guys. Here we go. Here's how it comes in your regular Casemate, barely there packaging. And there she is, little Miss Fiora, in all her cuteness on our case. So let's pop it open and take a look at it. I like Casemate's packaging. It's simple, but effective. Very nice, very easy packaging. So here's the case. We'll get to that in just a second as well as they include the uh, <clears throat> I make my case thing for so you can design your own case part of the DIY program there and then as always with Casemate you do get your screen protection little microfiber screen shield squeegee all that good stuff Casemate always includes one of those for you with their cases which is very nice and here we have the case itself. Um, this is a really nice case. Um, it's really nothing more than a basic Casemate Barely There case. That's really what it is with your image 
or whichever design you choose, print it on the back of it. Um, it really turned out really, really well. It looks great. There isn't a lot of pixelation or anything like that because I did use a high quality image. So there isn't a lot of pixelation or anything like that. It does fade a little bit. I like how they fade it around the edges there. Fade it out along the edge a little bit there. That's a very nice touch. So to put it on your phone, you're simply going to take your phone. Here's my iPhone 3GS. Put it button side in first and pop it on. And that's it. Done. Uh, camera hole is good. A little bit large and slightly off center, but not really a problem. Camera hole is very good. The top, of course, on the barely there, just like the regular barely there, is completely exposed, along with your chrome. So this isn't a case you're going to use if you really want a lot of protection. Um, this is basically just a slim back cover, like the barely there, because it is barely there, or any of those other snap-on back cases. This is simply a protective back cover to keep the back of your phone from getting scratched. That's all this is going to do. It's not going to give you a lot of drop protection or protection for your chrome or anything like that. It's really just going to protect the back from getting scratched. As you can see, it doesn't even come up fully to the top of the screen. There's a little bit of chrome exposed there along the sides as well. I don't have a zag or a skin or anything on that. This is completely naked, so it doesn't quite come up to the edge of the screen. So if you lay it down like this and you don't have a screen shield on it, you do run the risk of scratching your screen, just so you guys are aware of that. I have an SGP on here. I have no problems. So that's pretty much it, guys. I've already reviewed the casemate barely there. I'm not going to go into a whole bunch of gory details about it because I have already done it. Um, but as far as the DIY project goes, um, I really like this finish. Um, it's kind of a matte gloss finish. Um, it is a, matte, a, a gloss finish, but it has a certain, uh, a little bit of a matte to it, which makes it really, really nice. You don't get a ton of glare on it, so you can actually see the image that's on it. Um, feels really good in your hand. Doesn't feel sticky or slippery or anything like that. It feels really good in your hand. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. It's a barely there with your own custom image on it, which is pretty cool. Um, the barely there is really my favorite snap-on back case. Um, Casemates really nailed it with the design. All the protection that you could want. Just enough protection to cover. Sorry, just enough protection to cover the back of your device without anything extra. That's essentially what the Bailey there is. And that's all it's really meant to be. And Casemate has nailed it with the Bailey there. It is really perfect, if that's what you're looking for. So that's it, guys. That's my review on the Casemate do-it-yourself case. Very cool beans. Thanks again to Casemate for sending this out to me. Fiora loved this case. She was super excited when she saw there was a picture of her on a phone case. She was super excited. So there you go, guys. Cool beans. Rock on. We'll see you guys in the next one.